Oops. Torpedo away. Torpedo away. Fucking beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Fly here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Gunfleet. Today in Gunfleet, we're going to be checking out the submarine combat in the game. So I've been practicing a little bit, trying to learn as much of the meta as possible. And I think I can now show you guys a little bit about it without being a complete noob. It's a little hard to explain the mechanics in the hangar because we can't take it out on a test drive or test sail or test dive, if you will. Uh, so we're just gonna talk about what this sub has to offer. As you can see, this looks like a mini sub to me. I don't know if this thing ever existed. It kind of reminds me of the submarines that invaded Pearl Harbor, but I believe those might have been a little bit smaller. But in the comments below, correct me if I'm wrong. So the modules on this tier two Japanese sub is that we have a 13 millimeter surface machine gun that we can engage boats and submarines with it. I'll explain it in the game. And then we have two torpedo tubes that we can reload two more onto. So once we get rid of two torpedoes, we'll have two more shots. Now this thing doesn't have tubes. Um, the submarine or the uh, torpedoes are underneath the sub. You might be able to see it right there a little bit, uh, but there's no internal tube. It just launches out from outside the submarine. But all right, guys, let's go ahead and get into it, and hopefully we can have some good games today. Welcome to the battle. Let's talk mechanics. All right, so the submarine has three modes. It has a surface mode like this, which you can launch torpedoes like this and your machine guns like this. I'm gonna go ahead and reload that because we're gonna need that probably during the battle. Then you have um, periscope mode. Stand by, there we go. Um, how you raise and lower is uh, F to lower and R, come on, let's, there we go. There's our periscope. Uh, and then R to raise. Uh, this is this allows you to not be spotted that much and you can uh, launch torpedoes from this depth. Unfortunately, you can't shoot your machine guns. Then the final mode, and this is probably my favorite thing about this game, is that you're able, holy shit, he died really quickly. You're able to go as deep as the map allows, which is very different from Steel Ocean because in Steel Ocean, let's actually start um, raising up here because we don't have that much O2. In the bottom left of the screen, you'll see my O2 meter deplenish or deplete, excuse me. Uh, but in Steel Ocean, you weren't able to do this at all. Okay, let's raise up, double R. Okay, here comes our sub up. And you can get shot at any depth in this game. We're gonna pause here for a little bit because these guys are camping. We need to build up our O2 so we can uh, be stealthy over here. Uh, so if you're spotted, Tango right, LM. If you're spotted, you can get shot at any depth. That's just one of the ways they balance the um, subs in this game. Okay, so let's go submerge. I'm ready for torpedo strikes here. Now we have an enemy boat behind us, but I think the guy behind me is gonna deal with that. Okay, we have a crab, which is a German submarine. Excuse me, partner, excuse me, partner. I need to drop, ah, oh, damn it, he's in my way. He's still in my way, there we go. Whoa, don't mind that. Torpedo away, torpedo away. Two torpedoes away on the enemy crab. Oh my god, he died. Okay, we're gonna raise up, use our machine gun to get this last guy. As you can see him right here. So okay, that's two kills. And then now we're reloading our two torpedo tubes. We got guy engaging us at far range here. Building up our O2 back. We're halfway done reloading. We're gonna boost with space bar. Give us that nice top speed. Oh wow. Okay, we got one more guy in the center. So this is just low tier gameplay. It's kind of derpy. I think next game we're gonna move on to my tier three Japanese sub so we can get some, you know, well, people not staying in the spawn and stuff. I just kind of wanted to show you the core mechanics of the sub gameplay. So hopefully next game we're able to get the iceberg map. And with our tier three sub, we have a huge, well, compared to this one, a much bigger oxygen reserve and we're able to go completely under Tango right. Let's see if, he's, if he wants to track me under the water. We're gonna pause here. Okay, he's not moving. Torpedo away, torpedo away. Fucking beautiful. So a little bit of clubbing right there, but just wanted to show you the, holy cow, got some nice research right there. The core mechanics of the sub gameplay. Um, what I really wanna show you in the next game 
is how you defeat enemy submarines because you there's sub battles underneath the whole entire map uh, sometimes at 40 meters and how you do that is that you're in double f mode or full submerge mode and you would just launch your torpedoes aim and hopefully it hits it's much harder than you know killing boats because unlike boats submarines can go up and down so they're able to avoid the torpedo if they're far enough away Ooh, so this map is very anti-sub. If you look on the bottom right of your screen, you see the dark blue and the light blue. The light blue is where we can't really submerge too well, but the dark blue is where we can fully submerge. So I'm not gonna go into the center of the map. I'm gonna stick my butt out here and uh, hopefully we can catch some guys off guard. Now we're clocking in at 18. Now we're on boost 21 knots. Let's see if we're faster underwater. Now you might be like, well, no shit, you're not gonna be faster underwater, but sub, some submarines are faster underwater and yeah, it's too shallow here. We need to get up and boost. Um, some subs go much faster on top of the water. Come on, full R, there we go. I love how it raises up. Uh, some subs go much faster on top of the water and other subs go much faster uh, below the water. We just got spotted, we got an enemy crab or yeah, crab, okay. Now our torpedoes aren't loaded yet. And I might, we're gonna boost, keep boosting up. I might go below this guy and try to flank him here. Okay, yeah, double submerge. Ooh, shit. He took a big old hit right there. We got two enemy submarines, I believe. I can't tell who's enemy or not. Wow, that thing just flew out of the water. Another one gone. Okay, one down. Surfacing to gain O2 back. Let's move, let's move, let's move. So there was a nice sub battle right there. Uh, we already killed one. Now let's see if we can't use our machine gun on this. Ooh, where's this guy at? Okay, never mind. It was just a bad call out. We're gonna see if we can shoot him through here. Okay, I think he's trying to cut. Okay, so this crab is coming around the corner. I'm trying to extend as far as possible, and now we're gonna submerge so we don't get spotted here. Whoa, whoa! Holy fuck a moly. I got two guys on me right now. Now that crab right there has depth charges as well. We're gonna find deep water and try to dive as deep as possible here. Fuck, I'm screwed. Double deep, here we go. Now our, now our torpedoes are loaded. This guy's losing O2, as you can see. Ooh, and the crab just got a uh, torpedo from the rear. Dive deep, dive deep, dive deep. Okay, we're okay for a little bit. Let's raise back up. And how you guide your uh, ship or submarine underwater is that you, well, with, with the mouse, let's see if we can't get this guy. Torpedo away. Got him. Beautiful. Raising up for a machine gun. Ooh, we got a big boat here. This guy's dangerous engaging him. Okay, he's down. Submerging. No, actually, we're going to stay afloat because we're faster. We're a little bit damaged here. We're going to repair that with Z and X. And it's 2v1. Hmm, I only got one torpedo left. I'm gonna try to catch this guy off guard. I think he used one torpedo to engage that um, enemy, sub or our friendly submarine. So we might take one here, but we'll be able to spot him. There's our friendly, dead. Because if he's underwater... Shit, shit, shit. Okay, here we go. Good hits. Good hits. Submerge. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go, 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 go. Torpedo away. Get him. Yeah! Four kills this game. Beautiful. I fucking love sub combat. It might look derpy, but it's a lot of fun. And it's the closest thing that we have right now 
to decent sub combat since battle stations midway in pacific and now for my final sub showcase this is my tier 4 premium german sub the typ 17b or type 17b hopefully my roman numerals are on point but this thing is a beast so tier 4 uh, let's go over the modules real quick we have a 3.7 centimeter or 37 millimeter cannon that is a auto cannon uh, the only downside of this gun is that it can't depress well so if a ship's up close and personal and below the depression of this gun you can't shoot and also you can't shoot enemy subs in the water if they're too close to you uh, but we do have two tubes of 53 centimeter or 530 millimeter uh, torpedoes we have two tubes and 10 reloads maybe eight reloads we'll check in the game all right let's get started with this guy whoa 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 what is this mode so as you can see, I've never played this mode before, but we have to transport these, I don't know what kind of, oh my gosh, that's pretty cool actually. We have Panzer twos on these U-trains. I believe that's what these are called because I think I have one that looks like it. Okay, we got an Elko way out there pushing in. And we got to escort these. I don't know where to. Let's get that 37 millimeter up and operational. We have a good chance to snipe these guys. Oh, we missed all those, but all right, hang on. There's 32 damage. I'll take that. We don't need to push out too far yet. Some more rounds incoming. 45. I'll take that. Every little bit helps. So they are completely flanking around the map. We do have an AI boat here as well, which kind of sucks. Ooh, did he just beach himself? Maybe not, maybe so. Okay, hang on. Okay, we got two boats in front, one boat to the left. Now, I... Where did those... I don't know where this guy got dropped from. I don't think we'll do too well this game, but I'm gonna push up and support my teammates. There goes a stray torpedo, though. Aha! Got him in sight. This is, this is him. Big hits. Some more. Sorry, buddy. Excuse me. I'm trying to reverse. Now we can shoot him underwater here. Come on. There we go. 31 damage. This guy should die in a second. Come on, come on. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, wow. I think he's about to turn on me and drop a torpedo. Okay, so to our left, we have... I don't know. A, this guy's dangerous. Underwater now. Torpedo's out. Or torpedo's ready. Oh yeah, he's he's not gonna last too long. He's trying to get rid of our um, transport ships, and I think he almost just beached himself. We're gonna raise up here so we can get our uh, front gun on him. Devastating. Okay, one more guy left, and this should be game. Just cleaning up this one guy over here. He's not gonna get away. There we go. Okay, good game. Good shit, team. Well, guys, I hope you have enjoyed. Did I kill a friendly? Maybe from that ram, I was doing some damage to him. But uh, overall, that uh, PR-200 did some serious work. He got four kills that game. So, guys, hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, I'll be working next to upgrade my iTran. And this is what I think the Panzer IIs were um, riding on. We have a 75 pack on here. Let's see. Oh, yeah, pack 40. We can get two RA... That's not a K. Oh, yeah. RAK 40s uh, that are much better with DPS than the 75. But the next ship that you guys will see, hopefully, is this guy. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Until next time, peace out.